Or you have option number two, the Kulo. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the DC Comics Fox TV series, Gotham Jim Gordon Artifacts Plus statue. I gotta give a big thanks to Kotobukiya for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending out this product to review for you guys. If you'd like to see the latest from Kotobukiya, be sure to check the links in the description below. Cool looking Jim Gordon right there, I like the window right there, it says Gotham Before the Legend. I don't remember seeing that at the bottom of the text of the TV show, which I need to catch up on by the way, uh, I still have not finished finished season two. Uh, it's a shame because I really like season two a lot. No spoilers, please. Don't give me any spoilers. Don't spoiler. All right. Anyway, we get some product shots right over there. Looking pretty cool. He's got some interchangeable parts. And then on the side, you can see Gotham right there. And then we get a window at the top and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's Captain Jim Gordon out of the packaging. And this is a great looking statue. Very realistic looking. I really like the sculpt that we're getting on this. Kotobukiya delivers on the sculpts always. Anyway, he does have a very good likeness to Ben McKenzie. I really like that a lot about this statue. And he has some interchangeable pieces as I mentioned earlier on. So let's get a closer look. So I really like this head sculpt because I've seen Jim Gordon make this facial expression tons of times in the Fox TV show. And there are times where it does look a little too puckered, but still not bad. In some angles it looks a little bit more like Ben McKenzie than others, but for the most part it really does look like him, I think. I think they did a great job with the eyes and I like the wrinkles throughout, you know, he has his mouth all puckered right over there, so you got those pucker lines, nice paint right here, very very subtle color variation on that flesh tone. I think they did a great job with that. Looks really good, I like how the hair came out. I guess they could have used a little bit more color variation in the hair, but I still like how it looks, you know, nice sculpt. Good looking hair. And then he does have his gun right here. Looking really good. Nice black paint and everything. And you can swap this out for his Gotham Police badge. And just ports right in here. And nice solid badge right there. I think that looks really good. I like that silver paint. Yeah. Very pleased with that. That looks great, man. And then looking at the jacket and everything, it, this looks awesome. You know, it's just very realistic looking. I like how the coat just hangs right over here. Get some very natural looking wrinkles. Then the tie came out looking really good. I like how the shirt looks. You know, very nice suit. Very, very detailed black paint mixed in with the blue. Kind of tricky to see. I don't know, maybe if I brighten it up a lot, you could see some of the black mixed in there. Yeah. Nice little buttons right there, the pants look really good, nice wrinkles, so yeah, the gravity of this thing works out really well, you know, they, they have that gravity down with the wrinkles and everything, I'm very pleased with that. It looks like we even have some light blue highlights in some areas too, I didn't really notice that earlier, so it looks like we're getting three tones here, just really does a lot, and then looking at the feet, or the shoes anyway, nice looking black loafers, a little speck of dust right there. Those look really good, and he does have the magnets under his feet. And of course, he also comes with his magnetized base that we get with these Artifacts Plus statues. It says Gotham before the legend, and it's all soft and filthy at the bottom. I <laughs> love the filthies at the bottom. Now to measure out this statue with the base included, you can see that he's standing just a little over seven inches tall. I guess if you didn't want to include the base, he's standing right at seven inches. And then for your Gotham Jim Gordon comparison, you can see we have the Kotobukiya statue next to the Diamond Select Toys Gotham figure of Jim Gordon. And I really think they did a great job on this head sculpt. I mean, it really does look a lot more like Ben McKenzie on this one rather than this one over here, but I still like that figure. I just feel like Kotobukiya hit the likeness better. And then here's Gordon next to the CW TV series Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus statues. We have Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. And unlike these three right here, this figure will not really stand on his own without the magnetic base. Uh, I tried to do that earlier and he just wants to topple over. So yeah, I wish he could stand without the magnetic base. That would, oh wait, there he goes. Ah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, see what effort does. Then comparing this Kotobukiya statue next to your average six inch scale action figure, here's Gordon next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Okay, what's with all you DC guys? showing up here all the time, huh? This is a Marvel YouTube channel, not a... No! Okay, fine. 
I want to thank you guys for watching my video, especially those of you that watch from the beginning all the way to the end. It really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, as well as hit that notification bell. And I really like this piece. It's a solid Gotham Gordon figure. You know, I don't really have any complaints about it. I like that we have the interchangeable parts right there with the gun and the badge. I really like the head sculpt a lot. I think it's a really solid piece, and I give it a sud rating of... It's not so bad. And I want to know what you guys think. I mean, the only thing I could think of over here that would make me like it even more if, is if he had interchangeable heads, you know? But then the interchangeable head thing kind of comes in with variants and other stuff with Kotobukiya statues. So it's not, it's kind of a non complaint. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewsi.com and shardimusprime.net. And don't forget to follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It links to everything in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Yeah, yeah. Hey, new Shard of Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.